Okay, so uh, welcome back. Freezing point depression. Um, question number one. Let's take a look. So it says a water solution containing an unknown quantity of a solute has a freezing point of negative 0.21 degrees Celsius. What What's the molecular concentration of the solution? All right, so again, um, it's always good to start with um, we, you know, we need to know the expression that relates freezing point depression with uh, molal concentration and uh, um, and then we're going to need, you know, turns out we're going to need something called a freezing point depression constant. Um, all right, so over here, like we did the last time, let's um, identify that formula. So in your book, um, I believe it's in section 16.4. The, you'll you'll read all about freezing point depression and boiling point elevation, and you'll see that there are these expressions uh, like this. Okay, so for freezing point depression, you can calculate uh, how much the freezing point of a of a liquid will be will get reduced by um, knowing two things. You got to know the the uh, concentration of solute that's dissolved in the solution and if you know the freezing point depression constant for the solvent then you can figure out very easily um, by how much the freezing point should should be lower than the pure stuff alright so just to be clear um, just uh, one more word about this delta TF so delta TF just Make, let's make sure we know what this means. What this means is um, if you're, let me go down here, let's say you have a thermometer, right? And let's say we're on the Celsius scale, okay? Um, and this is, say, zero degrees, we're talking about water. Um, for pure water, pure water freezes at zero degrees Celsius, all right? But if you take a glass of water and you put some sort of you know solute in it you dissolve some stuff in there like um, sugar then what that does is it ma it makes the solution freeze at a lower temperature all right I'm trying to draw an arrow here so the more solute that you put into this glass of water the colder you're gonna have to make it in order to get it to freeze okay and this difference so let's say the new freezing point you know let's say we've put so much sugar in here that now the freezing point is minus five alright so the delta F of uh, the freezing point depression is simply uh, the normal freezing temperature uh, minus the new one Okay, so I guess this would be, I'll say T0 for, you know, normal, or let's, uh, uh, let's see, how should I, how should I characterize this? Uh, I'll say P for pure and T for solution. Okay, so this is the freezing point of the pure stuff minus the freezing point of the um, solution. Okay, so that's this distance right here. And that would be, in this case, five degrees, right? Okay. All right. So back to back to the actual problem. So, um, what's the question again? Um, what is the molecular concentration of the solution? Okay. So we have our expression here for uh, freezing point depression. We're being asked to solve for this, the molecular concentration. So clearly, we're going to have to do a little bit of algebra. All right, so let's let's go down here. So when you solve for molality, you're going to get delta T F divided by the constant. All right. Um, uh, let's see here. What's delta T F? All right. Well, it says that we're talking about water, so we know that pure water freezes at zero. Okay. So um, if we're going to calculate this, the pure stuff freezes at zero and it's telling us that this solution has a freezing point of minus 0.21 alright so that's minus 0.21 uh, so the freezing point depression is 0.21 degrees Celsius 
All right, so that's what we're going to put in here. Let me continue that down here. So 0 0.21 degrees Celsius divided by, all right, now we got to know the freezing point depression constant of water. And that you just look up in your book, uh, section 16.4, I believe. There's a nice table up in the upper left-hand corner. And um, this constant pertains to the solvent, which is water in this case. All right, not to the solute, but to, you know, to the to the water. So that's 1.86 and that's degrees Celsius per molal. And when you um, when you calculate that you should get 0 0.11 molal. All right. Okay, so I went I went into a lot more detail than I will on the next few problems. So I just wanted to kind of lay the groundwork here for freezing point depression. Okay, let's take a look at the next problem. Um, okay, it says the freezing point of a solution of sucrose dissolved in cyclohexane solution is um, 3 degrees. Uh, okay, so what's the molal concentration of that solution? So again, this, this is one of these, um, oops, let's write down the expression. So freezing point depression is equal to uh, the depression constant times molality. Okay, so we'll keep that there. We are going to have to solve for molal concentration, so let's go ahead and do that right away. So when you solve for molality, that's going to be um, this again. Okay. Um, do we know the do we know the freezing point depression? Well, um, in order to do that, we need to know the freezing point of pure cyclohexane, which luckily the problem gives us, right? So here's, let's say, uh, just to kind of show this a little more visually, let's say here's our thermometer, all right, and the normal freezing point of cyclohexane is 6.5 degrees, right here. And it's telling us that when we, when you make a solution, of sucrose in cyclohexane, the freezing point then becomes three degrees. All right, so now the freezing point is down here, and you can see, I think, quite easily that this uh, this difference is 3.5 degrees. Right, by mixing a certain amount of sucrose in a in cyclohexane, you're going to reduce the freezing point by 3.5 degrees. And the question is, what concentration of sucrose do you need? And uh, okay, so that brings us back over here. So now that we have the delta TF, we put the 3.5 degrees, that's the freezing point depression. And, um, and now we have to look up the freezing point depression constant for cyclohexane, uh, which is 20.2, and that's in, that's in the table in your book and that's degrees Celsius over molal. And um, when you crank that through, you should get 0 0.17 molal. Okay, all right. Um, so I hope this I hope this is feeling a little bit more straightforward. Uh, these these problems are really not bad at all. You know, as long as you know your um, your formula uh, that you're going to use, then it's just a matter of pulling the uh, relevant information out of the solution. Okay, so let me do, um, let's see, let me do one more. Let's make it a good one. Um, problems four, five, uh, four, five, or well, four through seven, you're probably not going to face those kind of problems on your test uh, or your quiz. So let's try number three, and then you should be fine. All right, um, let's take a look here. The freezing point depression of an aqueous solution uh, or what is the freezing point depression of an aqueous solution if the concentration is 1.25 molal? All right, um, so let's uh, let's again write down our uh, our expression here. So that's delta T F times molal. <clears throat> okay. Um, we know the concentration, right? So we got that taken care of. Uh, what solvent are we talking about here? 
All right, so that's key. You got to know what what what's the identity of the solvent. Well, right here it says we're, we are talking about an aqueous solution, and so that's that's water. Okay, whenever you see the word aqueous, that refers to a water solution. So we know the freezing point depression constant, right? That's 1.86 uh, for water. And then, so all that remains is to calculate the freezing point depression. So this one, we don't have to do any um, any algebra. So now we take the freezing point depression constant of water. And we multiply that by the um, concentration in molality, which is this. And you can see molality cancels. And uh, let me take a look. And you should get 2.33 degrees Celsius. OK, so that one was pretty easy, right? Um, now, what if the problem had said, what is the freezing point? So let's let's change the problem a little bit. If the problem had said, what is the freezing point of an aqueous solution, blah, 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 then we would take this, this is the delta TF, and we would have to subtract that from the normal freezing point of water, right? So, you know, again, if this is our little thermometer, here's the here's the freezing point of pure water, the delta T we just calculated is 2.33 so that would then be negative 2.33 right um, so my point is just just read you know make sure you read the problem carefully and uh, because there the problem could ask for either freezing point depression or the actual freezing point um, and so you know I just want you to keep those straight all right, I hope that helps, and, uh, you know, please email me if you have any questions on this stuff. Okay, thanks.